Thanks to our patent pending handy dandy video description template, you're about to save time every time you upload <laughs> to YouTube. But wait, like this video before midnight tonight and we'll include our SEO description ritual so you can drive more views to those videos that you upload. But wait, that's right, there's more. We'll revisit an old video, see if these strategies actually work or if it's just all a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> Ryan G. Johnson! Hey, it's me, B to the G. Welcome back, high five. And if you're new to the channel, great to have you. I'm Brian, and if you wanna drive those views, if you wanna gain subscribers, if you wanna not only share your videos on YouTube, but amplify Ooh. them, well, smash that subscribe button and let's get cracking. In this video, I wanna walk you through how to quickly create your own video description template, allowing you to do most of the work one time, saving you a boat load of time. So first, you're gonna to wanna to go to your creator dashboard and then to channel and upload defaults. And in this box, anything you include will be included in every single video you upload in the description box, of course. So it's a great way to make sure you don't forget anything. So let's go through these seven items that you may wanna include in your upload defaults then we'll move forward and I want to share with you some really awesome strategies that I've been implementing over the last few months to really dial in my SEO optimization in the YouTube description. So that's coming up next. Back to the upload. First thing I recommend you include is a YouTube subscription link. If you look at my description box, you'll notice that I've got a link that prompts users to subscribe when clicked. Next, make it easy for people to share your video and some just might, allowing you to drive more views. Next, I like to include a link to my associated website. Here I can drive people to a certain article or blog post or I can build my list. Next, include a link to your favorite social media profile. Next up, I like to include a short blurb about what my channel is about and what viewers are gonna gain by subscribing. Think of the benefits what makes your channel different, create that blurb, include it here, and then right below that, include that subscription link once again. And this will make it easy for people to click that link and subscribe to your channel. Next up, include a link where people can contact you. Here's why. If someone wants to do a collaboration, if there's a brand that's interested in a brand deal with your channel, well, you wanna make it super easy for those people to reach out to you, right? And that's just how easy it is. Save the page, and now every time you upload, all that information will be included in your YouTube description. For those of you that are subscribers, do you remember that video I did about video title SEO and really focusing on one keyword phrase? Well, we're gonna revisit that. We're gonna check on the rankings and so on. Well, let's talk in this video specifically about the description. Now, our goal is to increase our YouTube views and we'll do that by making it really easy for those people that are searching for a video just like ours to find our video. Now, step number one is to identify that YouTube target keyword phrase and SEO always begins with identifying one keyword phrase and optimizing around that. That's a 410, we've got a target match. Step number two is to identify related keyword phrases. And quite honestly, that's not really technically correct. What we're looking for is what's known as stemmed keyword phrases. Now about that video I uploaded a while ago, when I uploaded it, the only keyword phrase I added to the title was video title SEO. And sure enough, because I had an exact match connection between the search query and the video title, I was able to rank number one out of the gate. Now, I went back about three weeks later and I began to add keyword phrases that were actually stemmed variations of the phrase. Now, keyword stemming is super smart and here's why. A stemmed keyword variation is all about adding a prefix or a suffix to your original target keyword phrase. Let me give you an example. So if we look at video title SEO, well, there are people that are searching for YouTube video title SEO. So that would be a prefix, and that's two keyword phrases that are incredibly relevant 
Uh, in fact, one of those keyword phrases has a 100% relevancy match. This is pretty nerdy, huh? Now here's where we go off the deep end, so hang with me. There's actually another keyword phrase that people are searching for that includes some of the previous keyword phrases we targeted. Optimize YouTube video title. So I added the word optimized in front and sure enough I started adding these variations that are based on keyword stemming to that original video Ooh. and I've still been able to maintain original rankings for video title SEO. In other words, I'm increasing the opportunity for people to find me that are really looking for exactly what my video is about. This is powerful and the thing to think about is the more closely you can stay connected to what the topic of your video is about and the more types of phrases you find, then you can optimize your tags and your description around your video title and you can really increase your views over time as your video gains watch time, the very thing that YouTube has publicly said they reward. And does the stuff work? You bet, if you apply these strategies across a number of videos, you're gonna see rankings improve. Check out this video I published about two and a half months ago based on YouTube ranking factors. It's now ranking for multiple keyword phrases. YouTube ranking factors 2017? Number one, YouTube ranking factors, number two. And when I first published the video, that is what I optimized around, YouTube ranking factors 2017 and over time, well, it's working pretty darn good. Then a few weeks ago, I added how to rank videos on YouTube and sure enough, how to rank videos on YouTube. Looks like I'm number seven or eight or so, not too bad. Can I get a hallelujah? Oh yeah! So how can you make this work for you? Step two, like we talked about, you identify those stemmed variations of your original exact match keyword phrase and you add maybe three or four of those keyword phrases as tags. I know we're talking about the description, but stick with me. And step number four is to optimize your YouTube description. Here's how you're gonna do that. Begin your description by including the keyword phrase your video is targeting in the first sentence. If you're unable to use that exact match keyword phrase, that's fine, but come as close as possible. And step number five is to continue writing your YouTube description. Think about it almost as a mini blog post and you've included those STEM keyword variations. So use those as a guide as you're writing your description and include some of those phrases. They don't have to be exact. Don't be spammy, write naturally, but ultimately you're trying to write a piece of content that is optimized for humans as well as search engines without going black hat, without abusing the system. And when you do this, <laughs> Check this out, I've got an amazing YouTube starter kit. It'll give you access to my YouTube 12 step upload process even better. Now this 12 step upload process is integrated into TubeBuddy. That's a free Chrome or Safari browser plugin. And every time you upload to YouTube, my upload checklist will be there. Now go ahead and click on the YouTube card right there and you'll be able to download that starter kit absolutely free. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. I share the very strategies and tactics that have allowed me to gain over 8,000 subscribers in far under a year, and the channel is really picking up steam. Go ahead and click on the beat to the G icon below. You'll subscribe, and in the process, you'll feed a poodle. I got two, and they're hungry. Poof. Pixie dust.